Let's say you want to go to the cosplay convention and you want to dress up like Lucario, who's your favorite character. Where are you going to get a costume made in time that doesn't look like you got it from Kmart? Well, you're going to call the Romero sisters, Naomi and Noemi. They own Cosfers, and they are making quite a splash on the fantasy costume scene. We traveled to the west side of Cleveland to meet Naomi and Noemi at their Cosfer shop, which is in their mom's attic. And believe me, it's another world in there. So let's go on inside and see what kind of bosses Naomi and Noemi are. All right, we're here with uh, Naomi. Noemi. Naomi. 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 Noemi. How did you guys, first of all, how did you guys get into costume design? Um, the internet mostly. I'm always on the internet. So I love Japanese cartoons and often I'll see people in costumes over the internet. There was a convention coming up, OhioCon, and um, I always wanted to make a costume and I always loved animals, so obviously I wanted to m make a mascot of one of my favorite animals. So I made it, people seemed to like it and asked if it was a business and it pretty much started from there. So when did you guys start Cos First? We, st we started it 2007. It started under a different name, mm -hmm. but then more into the year we said, okay, we need a more unique name. So we thought Cos Furs was Cos Furs. The Cos is Cosplay, and the Furs is Fursuits. So we're like, okay, we'll put them together. Oh, that's perfect. That's mm -hmm. perfect. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we talked about the conventions. That's where yes. most of these costumes go for. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, for some of us who, I've never been to one. So okay. what's the convention like? I guess the easiest way to for everyone to know is um, Star Wars. Um, at Star Wars conventions, you know, you can imagine like Luke Skywalker or Chewbacca is running around the convention, you know, everyone dressing up as their favorite character from Star Wars. All right, so when you're at the conventions then, mm -hmm. what are your alter egos? Um, sometimes we, sometimes we get into character. Mm -hmm. Like, um, once I was in a green wolf and then people would come up to me and they would pet me, so I would just sort of do that. You sort of get into character because it makes other people happy. All right, so and you know part of the show is I end up working for the bosses. Mm -hmm. So I know there's a lot of sewing and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, hey, you're the boss. What do you want me to do? Let's make a tail. Now, let's just say for right now, let's just say on a scale yeah. of 1 to 10, what would you give this? Well, I guess compared to this one, <laughs> with no seams and no holes and, you know. Okay, yeah, I can see there's a, there, you know, <laughs> to, there's a bit of a difference besides color. Yeah, yeah if, it, if yeah. it was all white in the same yeah. material, there's no, yeah. you know, like. No seams, yeah, there's no seams or stuff. So, you would say that this is probably. <laughs> Four and a half. Four, four and a half. <laughs> when I saw on your website, to get things started, if I wanted a suit, yeah. you have to make something called a duct tape dummy. Yes. All right, well, we sent Dave to buy duct tape. Now, yeah. we needed a lot of duct tape. <laughs> okay? So the people at Home Depot kind of gave him the eye. All right? Yeah. So I have the duct tape, the mm -hmm. suit ready to go. Yeah. Let's make me a dummy. All right, then. When you do this, I want you to make sure that you don't make me look hippie. Well, you probably will, but... Anyway. <laughs> Building one of these costumes is hard work. It takes a lot of talent. And luckily, Noemi... Naomi. Ugh, Noemi and Naomi... <laughs> Have that to spare. I'll tell you, these you guys, it, it's unbelievable. This is such a good-looking costume. So, me, I feel a little underdressed, but I'm staying in street clothes because i got to hit the road to meet our next young entrepreneur.